Hi, Micro Ponto here again. Well, today I want to put some spicy ramen soup under the microscope. And yes, uh, there is a lot of science involved here. And I have seen something that made me wonder a little bit. Uh, but not to worry, the ramen itself was fine. It's the oil droplets that made me wonder. Yes, the oil droplets. But first uh, we have to make the soup. Uh, preparing the noodles really is a very simple task. Ramen are instant noodles and all you have to do is add the flavor and spices and then fill up the cup with boiling hot water. And after five minutes of waiting, the noodles are ready. When you put a drop uh, of the soup under the microscope, uh, then you are able to see countless perfectly round structures even of different color. And now what are these round things? Well, these are microscopic fat droplets surrounded by water. And where do they come from? Well, the noodles were fried in oil during the manufacturing process to preserve them. And there is a bit of oil left on the noodles. Some of the droplets, especially the smaller ones, they seem to be moving, they are shaking. And this is because of Brownian motion and that's the topic of another video. In this video here, I'm talking about the shape of the oil droplets. They are perfectly round. Now, why is that? Of all possible shapes that exist in nature, why are the fat droplets exactly round? Why are they not cubed or hexagonal? or even irregular? What makes them go into a perfect sphere? Well, and a common answer could be that oil and water, they don't mix. Yeah, yes, uh, but this does not explain the shape of the droplet. They could have any other shape and still not mix. And the answer has to do something with a concept that we call entropy. The oil does something to the water molecules. The oil forces the water molecules into to arrange themselves around the oil droplet in a regular manner. So the water molecules, they don't move around randomly around the oil, but rather they are forced into an organized arrangement around the oil droplet. This is almost uh, comparable to the organized arrangement of water molecules in an ice crystal. Well, in other words, the oil imposes an order on the water. It forces the water into a state of lower entropy. And this is something that systems don't want to do. The natural tendency is towards higher entropy, to a state of more disorder. Now what does this have to do with the shape of the droplets? Well, a sphere is the shape with the smallest possible surface area. Any other shape, cubes, pyramids, cylinders, or whatever, they all have a larger surface area to volume ratio. And by forming a perfectly round sphere, the oil minimizes the contact area to the water. And this way it tries to maximize its entropy as much as it can. And if all of these thermodynamics are too much for you, well then just remember, oil and water, they don't like each other. And therefore they try to reduce the area of contact with each other. And this is why oil droplets are round. Well, who would have guessed that there is so much science in a cup full of instant noodles? Well, it is now time to enjoy my dinner. I wish you all the best. A happy microbe hunting as always. And see you around next time. Bye bye. And if you like these videos, please do consider subscribing.